Yeah, good morning, guys. I was just checking uh, the Watch Duty app, which gave an update about 20 minutes ago, uh, kind of letting us know that it's still very active. 25 acres is last check. As a matter of fact, a lot of times overnight, you'll tend to see these fires die down because of the wind, humidity. You have it set up. You can still see some of that smoke out here, but the latest... Just to let people know, there's still a go status for 136th Street to 44th Street to Dove Valley Road, all the way over to the Tonto National Forest. And then those, uh, as of this morning, MCSO set, they put on a set status for those who live from 136th Street to 156th Street in Dixaleta to Dove Valley. Uh, we'll have that on our AZ Family News app, so you can go there for all the latest information as well. But I will tell you that this is fire where we're standing now. This is right on the edge of where the Wildcat fire was, and along the east side, it has checked up on that wild fire uh that wildcat fire burn scar so the activity has slowed however overall the fire behavior on this uh still is remaining active they have about 150 firefighters out here uh and on the left side they said that they were using that bartlett lake scar to kind of burn all the way across to kind of give them help a little bit and as it's starting to progress over to the north and then on the right side of the fire it's moving southeast towards that vista verde community that's out here so far five structures in the immediate vicinity have uh, evacuated 50 structures along the threatened area so there are folks that are having to move here in this sonoran desert area now the arizona department of forestry and fire management along with uh, tano national forest they're managing this fire this time but uh, all these resources that they have everything from the air and ground with type 2 hand crews also uh, a very large air tanker that they were using in this. We talked with a man yesterday who lives here in that Boulder Drive area. He says that fires like these are a reminder of the dangers of living in this part of the valley. It's a concern. There's no denying that. Um, we live in a fire area. Um, most of us try to keep you know, our area clear up to the fence, about 10 feet out for a defensible area. But having to come this close reinforces that, yep, that's going to happen. So as a reminder, about 2,500 acres burned out here so far with many homes threatened. Uh, and as I mentioned, we are here at Bartlett Lake and Cape Creek Road, the same staging area they had for the Wildcat fire. As I mentioned, this Boulder View fire burning up against it so uh for now uh, it all seems quiet but it is still a very active for those who are in the go area just know that uh you, you gotta leave as soon as they turn around and say that it's your option also the ones that are on a set that means be ready for it as well and there are four animal sh shelters we'll try to get that on our az family news app as well for you to get your animals to in this area they have a lot of homes that contain a lot of uh animals on their property so something uh will keep you up to date as the morning goes along and we know a lot of farms, a lot of ranches up there in North Scottsdale, Gibby. Of course, uh, a great reminder to download that free Arizona's Family News app. We'll send you a push alert if anything changes. With that, let's head over to uh, Ian Schwartz. Ian, with this fire, do we know if there's going to be any relief with uh, calming winds today? I think we're going to have a similar situation to what we had yesterday, which was kind of a you know 15 or so mile per hour wind. The wind is calm right now, just like Gibby was telling you. We tend to see those fires kind of relax at night. And uh, the winds start to push toward the valley. So if you are in North Scottsdale, there's a chance you might be smelling some of this smoke. Let me show you exactly where this fire is. Here's Cave Creek. Uh, this is Rio Verde to the east. And then North Scottsdale and Phoenix would be over here. This fire started uh, just kind of off of this development. So maybe folks were recreating over here, ATVs. It could have been a construction crew if some sparks got loose. Yesterday, the winds were out of the south and the southwest. So it pushed it to the northeast. It pushed it to the east and then also a little bit to the southeast. The evacuations Gibby was talking about are over here off the uh, screen. And uh, there, as a precaution, they're trying to get folks out of that area because again today our winds are going to be pushing the fire in this direction to the east to the northeast and to the southeast